The question was saying find the inverse. So again, if you follow the steps, step number one, replace y with x plus 1 squared, or replace y for f of x, correct? Step number two, swap your x and y variables. Can't wait to walk around and see everybody's homework that at least they did step one and step two, right? Right? Uh huh. Wink, wink. Okay, so now step three is a little bit more difficult. Now, step three, we need to solve. So we have x equals y plus 1 squared. Again, we need to use the reverse order of operations. Always undo addition and subtraction. However, this addition and subtraction is inside the parentheses. So therefore, that would be, that would be part of your p in PEMDAS. So we, what we want to do is undo our exponents first, which in this case would be our power 2. So how do we undo raising our, power, or raising our expression to the second power? We now have to take the square root. Or you could raise it to the 1 half power 2. So now you have the square root. Please remember, though, when you introduce the square root, you have to include plus or minus. Now you subtract 1 on both sides. And then step 4, write y as f inverse of x. So now, do you guys see when solving for x or solving for my inverse, if I plug a number in for, let's plug 0 in. So I have 0. Square root of 0 is what? 0. But if I do 0 plus negative 1 and 0 minus negative 1, I still get the same answer, right? So that's not a good example. So let's pick another number. Let's pick the number 1. Square root of 1 is 1. But when I plug in 1, 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So when I plug in the value x, do I get two different y values? Or I plug in 1 and for x, I get two different y values. So therefore, this is not a function. The inverse is not a function. The function, or I'm sorry, the original function is a function, but the inverse is not a function. Yes? So wouldn't you just be able to stop at the point where you have it and plus or minus? Right, but what, right, what we're doing right now is finding the inverse equation. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. And then determine if it's a function or not. Well, you could make things a lot simpler than they need to be.